name's Alex. I'm one of the three people who've worked on this interactive art installation called On Your Wavelength. It's an experience where you can control lasers and a music composition with your brain waves. Um, so it starts here, which is the audience area. And typically, if there's a participant, you'll be able to see him there on the sort of uh, raised area, just in front of the laser. Come through, I'll show you how it works. The participant is fitted one of these EEG headsets on their head. The two sensors here, one in the front, one on the ear, which sort of flips on. From the uh, technical perspective, we're running processing, which is the core software that controls pure data here, which generates music in real time based on your brainwaves, and Beyond, which is the laser software. Now, now that's all done via OSC. If all the blocks here are green, which indicate if the headset is on, the laser is running, and the audio is ready, um, the individual head hits go. As soon as that happens, a new profile is created for the brain, and that is done by analyzing uh, the brain activity during the introduction phase and assigning a profile. So each brain profile contains three variables. There are three feelings, tension, detachment, and joy. Three keys, deep, medium, and high. And three lead instruments, vibraphone, piano, and flute. Uh, so all these three things together combined create the unique musical composition and the visual composition as well that's uh, driven in real time with your attention value from the EEG headset. We're tracking a number of parameters our main parameter is attention, but we also have meditation values and other brain waves uh, like low alpha and high beta. We can use those to add detail and noise to uh, particular aspects of the installation. There are some parameters that are being sent in real time to the laser. Now that might be attention in real time, or it might be the accumulation of attention that you have as a participant, which sort of takes you through the experience based on the level you're at. It could also be direct envelope of the lead instrument. So we're able to precisely control some of the aspect of the visual experience. So when, let's say, a piano note is struck, a certain part of the laser comes to life. There are three levels in the whole experience. And the more you change from high attention to low attention, the faster you progress through the experience. So for example, some people perceive that attention, high focus for them is thinking about a particular object. For me, for example, that's actually staring all the way into the void at the end. Um, so you'll see the visual difference when I start to focus. And hopefully that works. So you'll see the laser has become quite white and has filled all the space around. And as soon as I start talking to you guys, um, it defocuses and you know the, the, the laser pattern becomes a bit more chaotic and darker. So these beams indicate that the tension is very low, so I'll try to focus and open them up a bit more. This is the final level, level three. Um, and actually, we ran out of time. This is the, the outro pattern that comes in after we've spent five minutes in the experience. It's quite an intense experience. Um, it's different every time, so as you practice, you definitely get better and better at it. Now I can like scale my attention in and out quite easily, and when you get it to go white, that's when you're fully concentrated. So I can kind of hold that for a long time now. At the end of each experience, we're able to save the data that we've collected, and we're going to try and find uh, what are the average values for people's attention deviating throughout the experience. And what we'll be able to do is tweak the curves that we've designed in the laser software to react to people's brain activity, to make them feel that they're controlling the laser more than before. Because now uh, we've built our looks based on the fact that most people will go from zero attention to 100% of attention. But in reality, most people are sort of plateauing around the 40%, 50% mark. So we need to see what are the highest figures and the lowest figures possible amongst the wide range of participants. And then we'll be able to tweak it so the experience is a lot more reactive. Then.